line. So today I'm going to show you guys my vintage clothing collection. Um, you guys have been requesting videos like this for a super, super long time. And now that I decided to just kind of post whatever I feel like, I'm going to post these videos for you guys since you guys have been requesting them. So like I said, I'm going to be showing my clothing collection which has some vintage pajamas, clothes, dresses. And I also have a few um, newer pieces that are like made to look vintage. So I'm going to show you guys those also in case you guys want to buy those. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of different vintage collections like I said before. I have um, kitchen stuff. I have like house decorations. I have purses. I actually started collecting vintage purses like when I was maybe like two or three. My mom started me off with a vintage purse collection. So I have a ton of purses. I have makeup, a whole bunch of stuff. So whatever vintage collection you guys want to see next, um, just leave a comment down below and I will be sure to do that. But if you guys are new to my channel, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. My schedule might be a little bit off for the next month because I literally am going to be working three jobs the next month. So it's going to be a little bit crazy and then at the end of the month I'm going to be going on vacation. So um, it's gonna be like super hectic so I gotta like see how I can upload and stuff like that but anyway let's get into this video so I'm going to start off with pajamas so I'll also tell you guys where I get these things um, so basically my favorite antique store to go to is the carousel antique shop I've talked about this all the time like so many times it's in where is it actually it's in um, Stanfordville, there we go. Uh, it's in Stanfordville, New York. But yeah, so this is the first thing I got from there. This is a little nightgown. It is so adorable. I wore this in my 1950s inspired night routine video. And this is actually like an extra large, but I love the way that it fits. I feel like it just looks so dramatic and it's just so, so pretty. And it's actually really comfortable too. The next thing I got is super wrinkly, so um, just ignore that. But this is also from the Carousel Antique Shop. It's a little like night robe. I forget what they called these back in the day. I'm pretty sure there was like a name for it. Can't remember though. Uh, but yeah, it's like a, basically like a little robe, but it just goes like over the top of you. It's just cute and little and short. And I love how girly it is with like the lace, and I just love the colors, pastel pink, pastel blue, which are my favorite colors. So I think it's just adorable. This one I wore my 1950s morning routine. It's like this bright pink nightgown. It's so cute and it's just like the details on everything from like back in the 50s which is so precious and so adorable. So I love the little details on it and I think it just fits perfect. And this also was from the Carousel Antique Shop. Um, this is also one of those like 1950s robes but it's just like a top kind of portion of it. I need to figure out what this, these are called. But yeah, this one um, Connor's mom actually got for me. This one's more for like the winter because it's actually not like fleece inside, but it's like a really, really warm, um, cozy like material. And I think it's just adorable. I love how it's shiny and all of the little floral patterns on it. I think it's just so cute. Now I'm getting into clothes. And I don't have like that many vintage clothes and like nightgowns and stuff. Like this isn't like a super huge collection um, because I like getting vintage clothes and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't know. I don't like to hoard them because I like hoard like everything else vintage. But when it comes to like clothes, I don't like to collect too many of them because I don't always wear them. And I kind of like to have like vintage things that I can use. Like I use like a vintage phone. I literally have it hooked up to my house line. So like. That's my legit house phone, um, is one of my vintage phones. And like I use all my kitchen stuff, I use all the decorations. So when it comes to clothes, I just don't like to have them like sitting in the house. And it's a little bit different for like my purse collection because that was, um, I've like had that since I was like really, really little. But yeah, so anyway, this is another thing from the Carousel Antique Shop. I don't even know if they know how obsessed I am with like all of their stuff, but um, yeah. It's so cute and I just love like the details on it. It's really pretty for winter. It kind of reminds me of like a snowflake which is like all the pretty like little white beads on it and iridescent beads. It's just so gorgeous. And this sweater I do wear because it's just easy to throw on with like a pair of jeans or like over a cute little dress, something like that. 
Next piece I got is this adorable top. So this top I actually got when I went to the Country Living Fair. For this was only $3 and I was like, how could I turn that down? Kind of reminds me of like somebody or like a top that someone would wear to like work in the 50s. Maybe, I don't know, something about it just reminds me of that. Maybe just like because it's like structured. But I think it's super adorable and I have worn this one out a couple times. The next piece that I have is this dress. I showed this in my haul video. And I love this dress. This is from the Carousel <laughs> Antique Shop. But okay. um, this dress is so gorgeous. This is actually a 1950s bridesmaid's dress. And I was so disappointed because um, she said that there was a matching hat that went along with this. And it was like blue with like a little like veil kind of thing over the front. But they couldn't find it. And they were going to call me if they ever found it. But they never did. So I'm really sad because I really would have loved to have the hat with it. But... Um, yeah, this is just so gorgeous. I love how it fits. It literally fits me like a glove in the back. It's just so pretty. The last like authentic vintage piece that I'm going to show you guys. This was one of the first um, vintage clothing pieces that I ever got. It's this really, really cute sweater. I believe I got this from... That, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where I got it. I just got like super excited because I just remembered. Um, I got this from the Stormville Flea Market, which is like... Um, just like a flea market in New York um, and uh, yeah it was really inexpensive and I thought it was just really gorgeous all the beadwork on it is just so so pretty I've worn this and I actually lent it to my grandma one time when she was over and she wanted like a cute sweater to wear when we were going out so she's worn this and I think it's just so beautiful and I just love all of like the details on it now for my um, fake vintage pieces, I guess. I don't know, like new vintage pieces. Um, so this, I actually got, Connor surprised me for my birthday and he got me this dress. It's so pretty. They actually have a website and I, and they also have like one on Amazon. So it's called Lindy Bop. So if you guys just want to search Amazon, they have so many of these pretty dresses. They fit so well and I love that they are new. So you can easily get your hands on them. This next dress, Connor actually got me also with that one. This one is not from the same place. Uh, let me see what this one is from. This one's from Maggie Tang. So this one is just like this really cute little blue dress. Um, I think it's really cute though and it has like this cute little detail on the top and it fits really well. So last but not least, this dress is so adorable. I, I I can't even talk today. I specifically got this dress for my Disney trip and I actually, um, it was funny because like when we went to Disney, um, it was actually Dapper Day on one of the days that we were there, which is basically when everyone dresses up like they're from like the 50s or like whatever. So I had this on in the morning and like do you ever just put something on and you're just like not in the mood for it? Like you put a dress on and you just feel like awkward in it. So you just change to like something like casual. That's what happened. And I was so mad at myself because like I wanted to dress really cute but like I just wasn't feeling it. I just felt really uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I just told you guys that. But yeah, this one is so, so cute. Um, I totally forget what the name of this brand is. But I'm going to try to figure it out. I follow them on Instagram, so I'll have to look through who I'm following. But they have a lot of really, really cute um, vintage inspired dresses and two pieces and stuff like that. So that is it for my vintage clothing collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This was fun for me to make. Um, and like I said, let me know in the comments down below exactly which video you guys want to see next as far as a vintage collection. I will probably put one up maybe next week or the week after, whenever you guys want it. Um, and if you have any other video requests, then be sure to let me know. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!